Track guides are coming soon, and the first one I'm working on is one I've never seen before. Watch me learn it, and check out Turn Racing once you're done here. Links in the description. You're right, chaps. The premise of this video is really simple. I've loaded up Oran Park Raceway, the South Config. This is a track I've never driven before. I've never even touched Oran Park before. So when I click on that green test button, that'll be the first time I'm out on track at Oran Park. So you will see me learning a track. Now the idea of this video is to give you an unfiltered look at what happens because sometimes when you're learning sim racing when all the tracks are new you don't know any of the configs you haven't got anything sort of uh, committed to memory yet you just feel a bit hopeless uh, as if you're somehow not doing it as well as everyone around you but this is me unfiltered you're gonna see it real time and we're gonna learn the track together as we go along so here we go then I'm about to click on that green test button and we will be out on Oran Park for the first time in the Mazda MX-5 and R racing so this is now me learning the track but trying to commentate or annotate as I go along so I'll try and explain what I'm thinking at the time I'm very I'm terrible at thinking and driving and talking at the same time so let's see how we go here okay coming out of the pits this feels like I'm going, oh no, there we go, yeah. So, just following my nose, where's the track telling me to go? Oran Park, I think, is one of these odd ones where you you kind of don't get, you don't get any markers or anything by the looks of it, so I can't even say, look at which side of a track the markers are on. I'm now just using my eyeballs. My eyeballs are the only thing that's helping me here. Blind crest, so I'm just going to chill and follow the curb. And then we're already back at the pit straight. I mean, luckily this is a really easy config by the looks of it. Looks fun. And now this is where normally I go steaming into turn one far too fast. So I know turn one's coming up. I don't know what turn one looks like. I don't know any of my lines. But I know that if I steam in there and go off track, it's just going to break the flow. So the most important thing when you're learning a, a new track is to try try and be conservative because if you keep spinning you get disorientated and you don't learn the joined up sequence of corners. Judging by the track map there's only about four or five corners on this Oran Park so we should begin to optimise pretty quickly. So what am I thinking about turn one? Turn one, I know but I just went too conservative around it because obviously we don't know where we are. This this is lap two, so I'm going to try and go a little bit quicker than I thought, and just try and make it into a bit of a horseshoe. And I judge, but uh, there was a big gap between the end of braking and the start of throttle on turn one, so we can do. We can do turn one a bit deeper. The shape of the line was right. But we didn't go deep enough so that we were still braking up until the point where the throttle came in. Everything else is going to take a little bit longer to uh, kind of get down and optimise. But turn one at least we can do it better. Luckily it's a short lap as well. So turn one we're going to go in a bit deeper try and figure out where along this um, side wall we can break. The start of a green wall seems to be a good marker. So a break in, break in, break in, break in on the throttle. Okay, turn one reasonably sorted out. So now let's see if we can optimise turn two. This is a pretty nice... I'd call, an, I'd call it an easy track because although there's a few blind bends you you can kind of figure out where you're going to be at the other side of them anyway. I like this. Okay, so the green wall is now my um, it's now my marker for turn one because there's not many features on this track at all. There's no curbing really to speak of. So green wall brake and that was too hot so we'll chill out next time turn 2 I know is kind of flat now because I've been around it enough times to 
Oh, I say that. It doesn't seem flat. Got on the grass there. Bit too wild. I love this corner. It's a bit like a um, mini corkscrew. One thing I am doing is probably um, chopping that apex a bit too early, which means I'm having to sort of come up off a throttle on exit. It's a green wall, but chill out a little bit. Alright, turn one I'm happy with. Turn two seems like it's a little lift. Turn three seems to be flat. Turn four. I don't know, let's work on that. But at least we know the track now. It's a bit like a. It's an Australian Lime Rock Park, isn't it, really? Really fast. Apex a little bit later this time. Okay, good. And that delta bar that you can see at the top, that's the lap delta. As long as that's always green. When it stops going green, we know we kind of found a baseline pace, and then it's just trying to squeeze a few temps out of it. Turning a bit earlier this time. I think I was taking the line too wide into that. Good. Let's try a bit of a wider line on this one. Alright, nice. Now, too eager. Too eager there. Chopped the apex a little bit. Just got to try and restrain myself next time on the last corner. Trying to resist turning in too early. The link between turn one and two seems to be throwing me off a little bit. I seem to be taking it a bit a bit too exaggerated. There's a lot of runoff on that corner and all which I might be able to use. Ooh. Nobody saw that. And my wing mirror is hanging off now and all. <laughs> okay. Turn one, green wall. Just a little bit before the green wall. Because I feel as if... If I waited until exactly the green wall, then uh, my braking was a bit too harsh. Tiny little lift on this one. Try not to be so exaggerated. Follow this around. Be more aggressive here. Because I'm not using that, all of that runoff on the side, on the right hand side. Flat through here if you get the right line. And try and be smoother on this one. Yeah, I'm liking it. Short lap, 47 seconds. That's, that's probably line rock standards at least. All right, right, more aggressive than this one. Yeah, using all that runoff now, and that's the tenth. It's flat through here, so long as you get the right line. So I need to be, I need to be alert. If I feel as if I've got, if I feel as if I've got the, the line wrong. I need to be ready to just bail out and cool it off a bit just to make the corner because there's not a lot of runoff on that last turn. Ooh, on the grass. I feel like turn two is throwing me off a little bit. I know there's more to be found there. I'll probably need to turn in a little bit later, but more aggressively. Mm. 
Mm, it's hard to tell on that last on that last corner. Whether or not I'm being a bit too a bit too sudden, scrubbing off too much speed. So turning later on turn two, but more aggressively. How much off track can we use? Well, there's the temp vert right there. That's a bit too much. So we've found the measure of that turn four. Yeah. The last corner is throwing me off a little bit because I'm being too early on the throttle and that's pushing me wide out into the wall as we uh, made contact with it earlier. So uh, we should stop by there and collect our wing mirror next time. Okay. There may be more of that inside curve to chop on that turn, turn four. Let's now try and find out how far... How far can we encroach on that curb without getting an off-track? Because if you don't explore the, the limits of what is considered off-track, then you may be also giving up time there. Anything you can do to chop out or round off a corner it makes it easier on you. If you know you don't have to make that curb exactly, you can plan for it. So I'm just going to see if I can chop loads of this. Just didn't get off track there, so that's quite liberal. Missed me turning point and didn't get to chop that one. How much is how much is off track? We don't want to chop this curb because it's um, basically falls away from you. Making little tiny gains now, but still making gains. Right, chop this, see what we can do. Minor improvement. There you go. Best sector there, just be, just because I was uh, chopping the curbs and back out the throttle there. Otherwise, I'm gonna be rubbing shoulders with that wall again. I think we're almost approaching what I would consider my best lap. With practice and time and races, I think this would improve, but... You really do start to just get into the... the temps and hundreds then. Saw that coming. At least we get the luxury of doing this in practice and there's no consequences. But let's try not to do that, shall we? Can really chop that turn two curb. Can chop it loads. Okay, can't chop that quite as much. It's an off track, not a slow down. And can we chop that last curb as well? So at this point, we we know the way the track goes. We know the rough line. We're just looking to try and round it off, narrow the um, narrow the angles a little bit by uh, exploring track limits. Oh, 
Ah, right, there we go. Found some time there. Just by swinging really wide and being really aggressive with the curves. There's some time on a plate. Totally missed that last turn. That last turn is um, a bit dangerous. Because it just it turns into an off camber corner almost. It sucks you into the wall. Entrance was a little bit rough, but um, exit speed made up for it. Nice. New best. New best lap. Just keep my eye on that delta. Because sometimes when you start taking corners smoother, your best sector will happen. Obviously, the car's kind of growing into it as well, I suppose. Feels like the last turn is the one that I need to really uh, kind of sort out into the 46s now. Really close to my optimal. What a good track. Dead level with our previous session best. Let's try and change this last corner a bit. Oh no. I thought we were onto something there. We'll try again next time. I'm happy with the rest of the lap. This is going to be a much shorter video than I'll probably imagine because this track is so blooming short. But that might be a blessing in disguise. Yeah, that turn two is where bags of time can be found. If you go looking for it, I'd imagine there's a lot of folks that have never thought to kind of be cheeky with the track limits there. Nice. Two temps up. And we didn't clout our uh, butt cheeks on the wall. Alright, I think this is probably terminal velocity for us now. One last one. Alright. Cool. Send. That's not bad. It's a small track, but now I'd be I'd be comfortable going into race sessions with this. Comfortable going into practice sessions with it. Um, that's really it. You just got to follow your nose and optimize. Once you know your way around a track and your rough markers. I mean there's not that many braking zones here so there's no there's no kind of trick with the markers to to describe. Bit of a shame but the video will probably be an hour long then but that is just 
Oran Park Raceway South, a track I've never seen before. How do you learn it? Well, slowly at first, and then you grow into it. But we didn't stack it, so I always like to imagine that. Imagine I'd actually gone to a track for real, with a real car, but that was worth 30k or something like that. How would I approach it then? And it would be the same thing, very slowly at first, and then just smooth off the lines, grow confidence, don't be silly, but actually try to work on each corner at a time. Turn one, most important, because if you keep messing up turn one, it will mess you up for the rest of the lap, and not just in terms of time, but the mental flow. So concentrate on each corner until you've got the last one sorted out, and then you can start being cheeky with um, with lines, curbs, track limits, that sort of thing, until you end up with something that you're happy with. But I'm not going to overthink it. That that right now, 20 minutes of practice, that's good enough for me to put my eye rating on the line and say, yeah, let's go for a race. So there you have it. That was pretty straightforward, to be fair.